Bang! Needs Knives, I'm Jared, and this is the production version of the Jason Grant Gripper 3.5 inch. Now, this one is done by Best Tech, so the OEM is Best Tech. You guys might remember the handmade custom version that I had that was made by SG Knives. That was a prototype, basically, of this version. Now, this is a, the, the exact prototype of the production version that will be open for pre-orders. Now... Because this is CNC made on a production level, it is refined a lot more than the handmade one. And that's just the way it goes, you know. A handmade knife is far more expensive because of it being handmade. And it's amazing what humans can do when they're hand making things. But this is CNC made, so there are a lot of parts that are more refined than the custom version. Now... We have a beautiful satin hollow ground worn cliff blade. We have a hand satin on the flats and then a belt satin on the hollow. Nice and thin behind the edge. Titanium frag pattern frame lock. And there are going to be some minor changes and I am going to make a couple suggestions. I normally wouldn't do that until a full review, but since there are, you know, this is up for minor changes you know i might as well say what a couple things that i know won't change by the time i do my full review but all in all we have 156 ways to deploy this knife as you can see lots of forms of deployment you have the fuller here that has like a bead blasted finish inside the fuller so you can reverse flick off of that fuller then you have the hole deployment that you can thumb flick or reverse flick. The detent is well tuned for the reverse flick. Even with the left hand, with pressure on the lock bar, I can still reverse flick it. This is definitely good both right and left handed. Then you have the flipper tab, which has great jimping on this flipper. You have to light switch it though, because just like most flippers that have a front flipper, if you push button it, the front flipper will come around and hit you and it'll just stop. So you have to light switch it. The, the detent is well tuned for the flip. Now I can fail it, but with this many forms of deployment, that's probably a good thing. But I have to attempt, I have to try to fail this because the deployment is really good. The detent is nicely tuned. The leverage is, you can see the center of the pivot is much higher than the center of the pivot. And then it's so close to the center of the pivot that you have a lot of leverage with that flipping action. You can see back here, you have a nice opening back here for not only for the flipper tab to go in, but for your finger to kind of, you know, have a place, a landing zone that feels really good when you, when you land. So nice and comfortable, nothing scratches you. It feels very comfortable to flip. Then you have the front flipper. Now the front flipper works, works great. So I, I'm not complaining when I say the next thing that the front flipper doesn't work, but I think it is very important to do the jimping right on a front flipper. Now this type of jimping is really good for you know, when you're cutting and, you know, getting a good grip so you don't slide, but it's not the best for deployment. Now, without this jimping, I think this thing would deploy basically the same way. Um, I guess, you know, this top jimping, the last one does offer you something because you have to push off from that last jimping. So it does offer you something. However, I think it's almost a must to have fine jimping right here just right here at the peak and it should wrap all the way around you should never stop the jimping before the top of the front flipper kind of like this see how that jimping goes up and around and it's fine jimping it grips you back if you just put your skin you know on the the flipper it grips you back and that makes the deployment so much easier with this if you don't hit that jimping right there you can slip off of it so you want the the jimping to grip you back now like, like i said it's easy to do i can deploy it it's not that big of a deal but i think it would heavily improve it to 
have fine jimping that wraps around the front flipper. Um, the clip is something that is going to change, by the way. Um, I think that he's going to do something similar to the QSP Penguin clip, the titanium milled pocket clip that's on the frame lock version of the QSP Penguin. Um, because this is on the frag and it doesn't give you a lot of clearance underneath and it has a lot of tension. So it gives you traction. So, um, so that's already in the process of being changed. Now the, the access to the lock bar is really good. They did, he did cut it out right here a little bit. And then you have a nice chamfer on the, the frame lock. So you can easily get to it. And it is very smooth on the drop. Now, you can let the flipper tab right here hit your finger when it drops. And you're past the detent because the detent is right there. So it's easy to get past the detent. Very smooth on the drop. Now, if you hold it low, the flipper tab will go past your finger and it will drop. So you have to be careful um, when you do that. You might want to kind of like do it sideways and then get your finger out of the way but it's very easy to just let it hit your finger that's the way i would do it most of the time um but very smooth on the drop and very fun to fidget with it's definitely uh <clears throat> a fidgeter's dream for sure lots of ways to deploy it now it is very comfortable in the hand i love the choil i like this choil even better than the custom version i find it more comfortable i find that um the one well one thing that i didn't like about the custom version was that the blade felt small for the handle now this feels slightly better and i think it has to do with this choil area but I do still feel that very straightness to it. Now, um, Jason Grant is a, a firearms guy. Uh, Blast, Brass Brigade is uh, one of his Instagrams. So I know a lot of his inspiration is, and this is my opinion, I could be wrong, but I, f I think that a lot of his inspiration comes from the tactical firearms, you know, kind of... Um, Pro thought process and i think he knocked it out of the park coming from that that viewpoint um this is going to be great for edc and utility cuts and opening things up you can easily slice and cut with it but it will also make for a great tactical knife that uh you know you could possibly use for self-defense now whether he was trying to hit that mark i don't know but i think it does still work out either way and Regardless, if you are just get, you know looking at it for EDC, Warncliffe blade shape works great for EDC. This is a precision beast, and with this straight back design from the top of the spine all the way to the handle, you push down right here, this part goes up. So you can rest it right in your hand and really lock in like this, and you have a lot of control over that tip. It's very easy to do straight lines or anything, and then if you turn sideways... In the pinch grip, you know, like this, you can easily do sideways cuts and have a lot of control through those cuts. So if you're opening up a box, going around it, it's going to work great. And because of this nice deep hollow, it's going to slice really good. Now, I'm going to do a full review on it, so we will see how well this goes, how well it holds up. Um, I'll do all my normal testing, and we'll see how it uh, winds up working out in the end. I'm excited. Um, I... This is one of the most exciting knives that I, or before I got the custom version. I was really excited to get this in hand, and I do think it's going to be very popular. Uh, so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. There are some little things I would change, and maybe a couple opinions I'll wait for the full review on. But, yeah, I do like it. So, there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.